Ballistite is a smokeless propellant made from two high explosives, nitrocellulose and nitroglycerine. It was developed and patented by Alfred Nobel in the late 19th century. The development of smokeless powders, for about a thousand years gunpowder, or black powder, as it was also known, was the only practical propellant. However, there were several major tactical disadvantages in the use of black powder. Firstly, a squad of soldiers firing volleys would be completely unable to see the targets after a few shots. Secondly, the location would quickly be obvious because of the huge cloud of white smoke hanging over them. Similarly, black powder severely fouled barrels, necessitating constant cleaning, sometimes right in the middle of action. Such fouling also limited the introduction of rifled firearms, with the closer fitting bullets. For rifles, this problem was partially overcome with the introduction of the mini ball and the resulting rifled musket. Black powder fouling meant that early revolvers were often built with a relatively loose fit to prevent them from jamming. Further, auto-loading firearms quickly become inoperable due to fouling. Black powder is also corrosive. In 1863, Prussian artillery captain Johann F. E. Schultz patented a small arms propellant of nitrated hardwood impregnated with saltpeter a barium nitrate. Prentice received an 1866 patent for a sporting powder of nitrated paper manufactured at Stowe Market, but ballistic uniformity suffered as the paper absorbed atmospheric moisture. In 1871, Frederick Volkmann received an Austrian patent for a colloided version of Scholz powder called Colloden, which he manufactured near Vienna for use in sporting firearms. Austrian patents were not published at the time, and the Austrian Empire considered the operation a violation of the government monopoly on explosives manufacture and closed the Volkmann factory in 1875. In 1882, the explosives company at Stowe Market patented an improved formulation of nitrated cotton gelatinized by ether alcohol with nitrates of potassium and barium. These propellants were suitable for shotguns but not rifles. In 1884, a French chemist, Paul Vaillet, invented a form of smokeless powder called Powder B. It was a great improvement over black powder. Powder B was made from two forms of nitrocellulose, softened with ethanol and ether, and kneaded together. It was three times more powerful than black powder and it did not generate vast quantities of smoke. Smokeless powders are smokeless because the combustion products are mainly gaseous, compared to around 60% solid products for black powder, i.e. Powder B was therefore immediately adopted by the French military, but it tended to become unstable over time, as the volatile solvents evaporated, and this led to many accidents. For example, two battleships, the IE Acute NA and the Liberté blew up in Toulon Harbour in 1907 and 1911, respectively. Military adoption of ballistite. Alfred Nobel patented ballistite in 1887 whilst he was living in Paris. His formulation was composed of 10% camphor and equal parts of nitroglycerine and collodion. The camphor reacted with any acidic products of the chemical breakdown of the two explosives. This both stabilized the explosive against further decomposition and prevented spontaneous explosions. However, camphor tends to evaporate over time, leaving a potentially unstable mixture. Nobel's patent specified that the nitrocellulose should be of the well-known soluble kind. He offered to sell the rights of the new explosive to the French government, but they declined, largely because they had just adopted powder B. 
He subsequently licensed the rights to the Italian government who entered into a contract on 1 August 1889 to obtain 300,000 kg of ballistite, and Nobel opened a factory at Avigliana, Turin. The Italian army swiftly replaced their M1870 and M1870-87 rifles, which used black powder cartridges, to a new model, the M1. 1890 Vetterli, which used a cartridge loaded with ballistite. As Italy was a competing great power to France, this was not received well by the French press and the public. The newspapers accused Nobel of industrial espionage by spying on via and high treason against France. Following a police investigation he was refused permission to conduct any more research, or to manufacture explosives in France. He therefore moved to San Remo in Italy, in 1891, where he spent the last five years of his life. Ballistite is still manufactured as a solid fuel rocket propellant. Although the less volatile but chemically similar diphenylamine is used instead of camphor, development of cordite an unsuccessful claim by Nobel of patent infringement. Meanwhile, a government committee in Great Britain, called the Explosives Committee and chaired by Sir Frederick Abel, monitored foreign developments in explosives. Abel and Sir James Dewar, who was also on the committee, jointly patented a modified form of ballistite in 1889. This consisted of 58% nitroglycerin by weight, 37% gun cotton and 5% petroleum jelly. Using acetone as a solvent, it was extruded as spaghetti-like rods initially called cord powder or the committee's modification of ballistite, but this was soon abbreviated to cordite. After unsuccessful negotiations, in 1893 Nobel sued Abel and Dewar over patent infringement and lost the case. It then went to the Court of Appeal and the House of Lords in 1895 but he also lost the two appeals and the Nobel's explosives company had to pay the costs. The claim was lost because the words of the well-known soluble kind in his patent were taken to mean soluble collaudian, and to specifically exclude the water in soluble gun cotton.